Good morning, my mindful magpies. So I was going to try this one again. Um, introduction to mindfulness. So I could sort of pinpoint a little bit more what mindfulness is and where it comes from. I will try to be a little briefer um, than in my first video. And yes, as I mentioned, I realised when prepping for this video that I hadn't done an introduction to mindfulness, which was the whole origin of this page and my blog. There isn't even an article on my blog for the introduction to mindfulness. I have done a crash course in well-being, but not on mindfulness, which to me was a bit strange. So I thought I would start with a video and then I will write up an article on my blog that will be posted this Thursday, which is my regular um, new blog post day. So mindfulness itself is something relatively new. It's a practice that came from a variety of different sources, but um, was pulled together to create a sort of therapeutic technique because mindfulness itself came about in the 1970s when an American professor of medicine called John Kabat-Zinn sort of founded it, I think you would say. Um, he had a variety of Buddhist teachers, so it is ascribed to originally come from Buddhism, um, but it is no way a Buddhist practice, it's just where it originated. And he sort of melded the Buddhist beliefs with some science to create mindfulness. It's still evolving today. Mindfulness is actually often paired with the cognitive behavioural therapy technique um, in psychology. And that is actually, I think... I think it's available on the NHS. I don't think it's very widely available on the NHS, but I do know that the NHS itself has a little archive and there's some mindfulness sources on there if you're actually interested, um, because mindfulness as a technique is used to help with depression and anxiety alongside other methods to sort of help people be more aware in the moment and help sort of deal with those negative thoughts. So John Kabat-Zinn defined mindfulness as, and I'm, I'm sorry for the reflection, I think it's because I've got the computer up so I've got some quotes on the, um, John Kabat-Zinn defined mindfulness as paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. Which is quite the definition to unpack. <laughs> um, that's why I sort of, I made the little post that breaks it down into the three core components of being aware in the present moment and being kind and compassionate. Um, so it is all about being aware, staying in the present moment and not wandering too far into the future or thinking and dwelling on the past and dealing with those sort of thoughts and emotions that do arise with compassion. And this is very much um, at the core of Buddhism. Um, I won't go too much into Buddhism and the Eightfold Path or anything on this video because it, it certainly can't be paraphrased into about five minutes. But uh, Paul Fleischmann, who is a psychiatrist and a uh, a Vipassana teacher as well, um, says that mindfulness as defined by the Buddha means awareness of incessant change, of arising and vanishing inside of your own body, which is the ultimate reality of your own life. Which is a deeper <laughs> quote than John Kabat-Zinn's, but they are very similar um, in the fact that it is all about awareness, awareness of change, acceptance that change happens and that moments will come and moments will go and that it's all about accepting those and moving on, not dwelling too much on them, not trying to prepare for them, just 
accepting what happens in the present moment and trying to be kind when those things do happen. So an example would be not to be too difficult if, if you're talking to someone and they may be quite standoffish, it's better to just accept that that's the moment that you're in and the conversation that you're having at the time because they may be going through many different things and we can't know so it's best to just treat that with compassion and once the moment's gone and the conversation's been had it's not worth then dwelling on what was said or thinking what would I say next time what's the conversation going to be like next time and trying to run it through in your head because it will never work out in the way that you're sort of role playing it in your head so it's better to just be in the present moment and try to accept those sort of things it is a practice it's it's not a religion it doesn't as i say it's not a, a buddhist practice it is just its own practice um and as a practice, it isn't something that just comes straight away. It is something that needs to be learnt. It's something that you will have to practice sort of every day. And even myself, when I'm doing these blogs and everything, I constantly keep forgetting about it. And I do start worrying about things such as I have an interview coming up um, on Thursday and as much as I am trying to just focus one day at a time it does creep in and you do start thinking oh well what can I do to prep for that and, and sometimes we do need to prep a little for the future and it's all about finding that balance which is what I sort of created this blog for and created these social media pages for is to just sort of document my journey as such because I try to document the bad days as well as the good days and I will try to put some more mindfulness stuff up um, and as I say I did actually do a course on this so I do actually have a wealth of materials that I can share with you I will try to dig up the NHS uh, link that I was talking about as well um, because I think they have a little mindfulness, uh, mindful course on their site. And yes, hopefully that can help because I do find it important that it doesn't lose its roots and it doesn't lose its meaning. And that mindfulness, I think, and being mindful, the word is thrown around a lot and it's important to go back to its Buddhist roots and remember where it came from. And even looking into that science and looking into CBT, the Cognitive Behavioural Therapy and other therapies to be able to better practice mindfulness as opposed to it being quite surface level. Um, because I don't think that will help. So as I say, I will try to share those things with you and try to um, educate everyone a little bit more on mindfulness and I am surprised at myself for not sharing a little bit more considering that is the very name of my blog. So this will be me signing off for today. Um, I will try and leave a little bit of a brief description of what I said in the description of this video and again I will try and put it up on my Facebook and YouTube as well. I am on Facebook um, as The Mindful Magpie and again the same on YouTube. Um, I think even if you google me at this point uh, Mindful Magpie, Mindfulness Magpie will come up in a, a few different places. Um, so that was it for this morning. Um, if anyone has any questions, then feel free, as always, to ask me. I'm always here if you need any help or any support or any things. And if you have any recommendations, please do let me know. I've had a couple of people um, recommend some books to me and I'm really grateful, as I say. Always learning. Everyone's always learning and I do always appreciate learning new things. So, I promise this time, there's a Gemini coming out in me. I'm very talkative. <laughs> um, 
that I am signing off at this time. So have a wonderful Sunday. You know, I think a storm's just blowing outside, it's raining. But have a wonderful Sunday, have a wonderful week ahead, and I will catch you all in the new week. So, see you later.